Hi, my name is Gary Leachy. I'm the manager of technical products for our Allied High Tech Products, and I'm here to introduce the XMIL uh, three-dimensional mechanical milling machine. Um, the XMIL is a very valuable and useful tool for preparing samples for backside thinning, uh, for laser-based uh, FIB and uh, photon emission uh, techniques. Uh, it's also an excellent tool for doing stacked ID processing. Uh, for multi-chip packages where you've got different devices on a common substrate where you have to machine only one of those. Um, whether there's uh, capacitors surrounding the device or not, this tool can do uh, localized uh, preparation. Uh, for the physical failure analysis side, uh, pre-chemical decapsulation, removing mold compound down to maybe 5 or 10 microns above the circuit layer, um, and then modifications or adjustments to that cavity can be made very easily through the user interface of the tool. Um, the, 3D, the 3D module allows you to map a surface contour and from that data machine following that contour. So the diamond tool will then shape the diamond or shape the uh, silicon rather to the original profile. And then that profile can then be measured externally or analyzed through another instrument the modifications to those points can be made and then imported back into the tool. Uh, additional uh, functionality, you can do flat topping of the silicon and then uh, with the non-uniform thickness, as long as it's below 100 microns, you can do uh, mission microscopy. Uh, then that front side profile can also be manipulated externally. Um, some of the uh, features, main features of the instrument, um, very user-friendly, uh, sequence of, of screens allow the user the, or the infrequent user a very easy way to uh, modify or manipulate maneuver through the uh, screens for machine setup. So there's a series of, of uh, options available to the user with prompts uh, through the user operator screen that tells the operator what to do at each step of the way. Tool change is all done pneumatically and the system basically runs through a wizard. So every screen will require a certain amount of input from the user uh, so that nothing is forgotten or omitted from the uh, setup routine. Uh, the machine features a closed loop feedback, electronic feedback design for the X and Y and also for Z. Z accuracy is one micron with a 100 nanometer resolution. Um, it uh, features an automatic motorized leveling stage so as samples are mounted unevenly on the uh, glass or the substrate, uh, the machine will correct those mismounting orientations. Um, it also uh, features, again, the wizard base setup. Uh, there's a video camera for live navigation and XY milling coordinates uh, establishment. There's a video camera located under the uh, spindle, next to the spindle here, and through a crosshair that's generated on the touch screen, the operator can use this uh, motorized stage and to position the crosshair on their sample, set different coordinates, very easy entry, or rather, I just did this backwards, but and that defines the milling region to set the machine up. So.